what I wanted to do in this video is to go through how to log a call in Lizzie and show some of the differences between Lizzie and some of the other applications out there. So let's get started with locating a contact, which we've covered in a, in a previous video, but I've got Brian Smith, which is the customer that we had created in one of our earlier videos. We're just going to locate that customer, select them, and by default, we are per set on the view contact page. This is where we can go in and review all the additional contacts and the other information that's here. So what we want to focus on is actually logging a call. So to create a new call, over on the left menu, we have new correspondence. So we're going to select new correspondence. And from here, we can log emails, faxes, face-to-face, -face, or log telephone calls, and that's what we're going to do here. So we're just going to select log a call and I'm going to do a sales outgoing phone call. So we're just going to pretend that we're calling the customer and we're going to do a sales outgoing. So I'm select sales, sales outgoing. Now, one of the things that you have the capability of doing inside of Lizzie, and this actually came from us here at Nizix is we had sales reps that were calling customers and they were forgetting to ask the customer certain information or a customer would call in to us and the sales rep would forget to ask what the the lead source was and as a result we were losing track of some really valuable information so we came up with the idea of adding wizards to the log a call process or really log any correspondence process that you can go in and set up what questions that you would like to ask your sales reps when they're logging calls and Lizzie will prompt them for that information and we have pre and post call wizards. So that's part of setting up the application and, and setting up the specific call types that you'd like to tie these things to. And I'm just going to skip past that for this video. And so one of the things that I need to explain that, that is drastically different than anything else that I have ever seen on the, on the market today is the concept of logging calls based on the topic of conversation. To us, there is no phone call that doesn't have some reason for it to happen. We call those topics. The, the nice thing about the way that we log the phone calls for the topics is that Lizzie can actually thread all of the telephone calls to a single topic, which means that I could have a initial sales call that comes in wanting a new product that we have and that may result in demos being done, five or six sales calls, check-ins, all kinds of things going on related to that specific sale. And Lizzie will actually thread all of those uh, subsequent phone calls to that original topic. So it gives me the ability to not only track the sales telephone calls or any kind of telephone call that comes in, but it allows me to link them to a common topic so that research and, and going back and looking at the, at the history on that particular customer is very, very simple, uh, literally a click of a mouse. And by the time we're done with this series of videos, you'll actually be able to see this uh, when we get over to the viewing the correspondence section of, of the videos. Um, so for right now, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a new topic and we're just going to call this uh, initial Okay, and we'll say that we spoke with Brian and I'm just going to put in sales info about product. So we're discussing the information with the, the customer at this point. Now, one of the things that, that Lizzie can do is because it is all Ajax driven, Lizzie actually has the ability to allow me to jump around in the entire application doing anything I want to do. And it will keep track of how much time I've been on the phone, who I'm talking to and what notes I've added. So as an example, if I click off of this phone call, I can go back and review their information, update their address, get their email address, any, anything that I'm missing here. Maybe I go over and I view the, the sales history for this customer. Maybe I go in and view correspondence that we've logged in the past because they're telling me that they've got some, you know, they've had a conversation with somebody else in the company and they never got a phone call back. I can go in and research that while I'm on the telephone with them. Now, at any point when I'm ready to go back to my call log, the, the thing that I was logging a moment ago, all I've got to do is scroll down here in, in my dashboard control panel and select logging a call and it will open that call back up. Now, another thing that I have the ability to do here is 
create multiple topics. I may be on the phone with them about one thing, and then that leads to a completely different topic about a completely different situation that I need to follow up with them on. So up here at the top, we have the ability to create as many different topics as you need to for a given telephone conversation. Um, we can reopen our pre and post call wizards if we need to. We can resolve this topic. If I'm about to hang up and I've handled the situation, there's nothing else to do, then I can hang up and, and just leave that, that, op that uh, topic set as resolved. If I have an opportunity to sell this customer a product, I can set up my opportunity here on the call log. So as I'm logging this topic, I have just turned that specific topic into an opportunity to sell this customer some product that we have. So just by simply checking the opportunity box, we can now come in and say that we've gotten to the initial contact step. We think there's a 25% chance that we're going to close them by the end of the month. And their initial investment is, say, $12.50, and we think we can probably get $250 recurring revenue a month. So this gives us the ability in real time while I'm on the phone to set up a, an opportunity with that customer to sell them something without having to jump to other parts of the application, lose track of my call information, and constantly having to go back and forth trying to save stuff. Um, Lizzie makes everything very, very fluid in the process and, and fits into my environment instead of making me have to change everything that I normally do in order to handle tracking all of this stuff. Um, tracking information to us is extremely important, but it needs to fit into the day-to-day -day routines of our employees, otherwise it's not going to get done. So the other things that we can do here, uh, we've got quick buttons here that if we don't get in touch with the customer or we have to leave a message on their answering machine, these allow us to very quickly tag this record at appropriately and then we get the appropriate reports on the back end that let us know, you know, we made 25 phone calls today but six of them we didn't actually get in touch with the customers. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can schedule a callback on this particular topic. So let's select the callback option here. And the first thing that you'll notice is that we actually are placed on our calendar. So instead of just simply asking me what day and what time, it would be helpful for me to actually be able to review what my calendar looks like so that I choose a day that actually is meaningful and, and that I can, can actually pull off doing that callback. Now, the other thing that Lizzie has is the calendars are all integrated in with each of the employees, which means that I can also not only integrate with my calendar, but I can log a call for someone else in the company to call this customer back and review their calendar to make sure that they can, can in turn get that call done at that particular point in time. The other thing we have here on the calendar are teams. We can, if I don't know specifically who in support needs to call the customer, I can log it on the team calendar and then let anyone in, the, in that particular team look at the calendar event and, and handle that, that particular callback. So there's a lot of options here and we're just gonna select the 13th and we're going to go ahead and edit this so that we can show you the actual detail here. And you'll notice there's no note on this call on this calendar event and that is because Lizzie already knows that this calendar event is being locked to a particular topic and therefore when you view your calendar it's going to show you the note from the call log so instead of making you have to type something twice you've already typed it in the call log so Lizzie just shows you the contents of that last call, call log here on the calendar when you get ready to, to make that callback. Um, we can select a specific date and time, or we can just tell it that you know it's an all-day event. We don't really know when we're going to get to it, but it needs to be on that day so that we can get to it at some point. And then you can set your alerts and stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and save this event. And you notice Lizzie has reopened our, our call log. And if you look in the background here on our calendar, and I can move this, this box out of the way, you can see that we have the event on our calendar as well. So at this point, I've unresolved the topic, or selecting the callback did, and I have an opportunity set up on here. We've got all of our information. We're just going to go ahead and hang up the call. We'll skip through the post call wizard. And I want to go back and log one more phone call so that you can see how this threading works for the, the call log. So I'm going to do another new correspondence, log a call. This time it's a sales incoming call. We'll skip past the wizard. 
Now, this time you notice this control looks a little different. Now we have a list of open topics because we have, in the previous call, we left a topic open. And so now we have a list of all those open topics. And we have a couple options here. We can select the detail or the, the title for that topic and look at the detail for the call or calls that have been logged for that, uh, that particular topic. Or we can come over here and create a whole new topic and elect whether we're going to resolve it or leave it open. Or we can actually click this, this link icon here and link this call to that particular topic. So now I have actually threaded these two calls into a single call topic. And so now I'm just going to come down here and put in additional detail. And we're going to close this call. And we can change our opportunity information here. We can even remove the opportunity if we've decided that they're not really going to buy. So all of the information that I need to have access to is all here simply by logging a telephone call. There's not anything else that I've got to worry about. So one more time, I'm going to hang up. We'll skip past this. And I'm going to log one more telephone call just to show you what is going on here. Actually, I didn't get my... Wizard done. Okay, so I've got to select the, uh, I've got to enter in the person that we spoke to. So we're going to hang up the telephone call. And so now I want to log one more new correspondence. And we're going to say this is another sales incoming. Notice everything looks the same here, but I only have one open topic. Even though I, I completed that last phone call, even though it was attached to this topic, the phone call itself was completed. And now if I open up the detail, notice now we have two call log entries here. And I'm able to review everything that there is about that open topic without having to go hunt around and, and see who's talked to them about this particular thing and what was last said or any of the other things that have gone along with the, the conversation. Now, the only other thing that I want to mention here about the, the calls, and I'm just going to cancel this call, is this little note icon that's up here in the top left-hand corner. This allows me to have a quick reference to, to extra detail. So um, basically, I can come into this particular part of the application and enter a note to remind myself where this conversation left off. You know, how many users were they? How, what, what information were they really looking for? What kind of feelings did I have about the, the, this particular customer? Or what specific things do I want to bring back up to try to get the conversation rolling faster? I don't want to go read a bunch of call logs to try to figure out where I left off with this customer. I'd rather have some, a quick place to go in and put some detail to be able to refresh my memory of who it is that I'm talking to. Maybe I met them at a trade show and I want to put some characteristics of their personality in the thing or what they looked like or you know what where I met them so that I have that information in the system all the time so that when I talk to them next, I, while I'm on the phone, I can very quickly refresh my memory and, and remind myself where, where I know this particular customer. So that's really the, the gist of going in and logging phone calls inside of Lizzie, how they link together. And in some uh, videos we're going to be doing next, we'll actually get into a little bit more detail for handling phone calls and support and also on how to review the correspondence that we've logged in the system previously.